Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Dave Adams. This is my course HTML and CSS for novices. In this video, we're dealing with HTML forms. As you can see, there's an example image on the left and there's a Facebook sign up form. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about forms. So a form element is used to accept inputs, just like the Facebook image that I showed you. You're taking your, your first name, your surname, all that info. So that's what forms are for. Now form elements serve as a container for the various input elements, such as text fields, check boxes, submit buttons, radio buttons, and so on. The label tag defines the label imp for form inputs. So we have an example here. We have the first name, which is a label for this input field that is right underneath. So that input field will accept the first name of the person. And there's the second label, which is for the last name. And it's for the second input field. Now that we have this info, we're going to do more practice. So we're going to go straight into Visual Studio Code. Now that we're in Visual Studio Code, we're going to clear this title from the previous video and we're going to change it to Forms. And within the body, we want to clear all this code. So I'm just going to collapse everything and that'll make it easy for me to clear. I'm going to go into my CSS as well, Control A to select everything and do a backspace and that'll clear everything as well. Now, what we want to do is to create the form. So we're just going to type form and that creates the form for us. The form itself has an attribute. So that could be get or post or that is beyond the scope of this course. But so you can just leave a blank because we're not going to use that. Now we can create an input. And by default, it gives us a text input. Some attributes for um, input fields are placeholder, which would we can use to give hints to the person. So enter your first name. Another attribute that we can use is a name. So let's do F name as the attribute. And normally we give an ID, which is similar to the, the name of the, the tag. So we can also make that F name to match with the name. And we want to do a label for F name. So the label for the name, the F name for this input. And we want to place our first name in there. Now that we have that, we're going to go straight into the browser. And you can see that it's been displayed on the left. So now when you start typing, it's obviously going to clear and we have the inputs right there. So that's how that works. There are a lot of input types. So I'm just going to copy this label and input pair. And I'm going to create another one. Let's leave a comment. Let's do last name. So I'm going to change this and do last. Now I want to change this for these three fields or these three um, strings. So I'm going to select the first instance by highlighting it and I'm going to do Control D twice and it's going to select the, the next two instances. So we're going to do last name, so L name. And we can change this to last name. So now Let's say I wanted to make this age instead. So age, so I'm going to change this label to age. Now for, we want to accept um, a number input instead of a text input. So we're going to change this to number, which should be right there. And we can change this placeholder to age as well. So going into our browser, you can see that there's a, there are some controls here for the, the age since it's a number. Let me give this input within our CSS. Let's just give a margin bottom. That should give some spacing. And we should have that as well. Values that can go into our input since it's the age, we don't want the age to go below one. 
So we can use the main attribute, which is the least value that should be there. And obviously the max, the person possibly won't be older than 100. So let's try to enter zero. Um, now when you use these controls, it doesn't go below zero, M um, one, sorry. And when you press and hold to the end, it shouldn't go beyond 100 since we specified and it didn't go beyond 100. So um, that's how that works. Lastly, let's make a submit button. And we're going to do button of type submit so you can navigate all the way to the last. And we're going to have our submit button. And that will be right underneath. So within our CSS, obviously we can make the form look better. Let's say we want it to have a border of um, one pixel solid red. So by default, it actually doesn't have um, borders. Let's give it some padding so it looks better. 20px will do. And you can see padding all around. And, and you can style it however you want it to be. And you can check out the various input fields. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and share. And turn on post notifications as I upload regularly. Thank you. In the next video, we're going to talk about the HTML head.